Welcome to Seals on the Move, I'm Alex Seals. And I am Rosie Seals. We're at the new Salt and Straw Ice Cream Shop in Disney Springs at Walt Disney World and we're trying some unique ice cream flavors. So let's get a move on with Seals on the Move. So Salt and Straw is now out in Disney Springs. Now open, I guess I should say. They got some really unique ice cream flavors. This was just a wall the last time we came. Salt and Straw began in 2011 in Portland, Oregon. The name comes from how ice cream used to be made. Rock salt was used to lower the freezing point of water, and the straw insulated the ice cream. Dwayne the Rock Johnson is actually a co-owner of Salt and Straw. The ice cream can be delivered to all 50 states. The Florida store has unique flavors that you cannot get at the other stores. Very small store. <laughs> huh. I like how they have the perfume, a whiff of waffle cone. <laughs> that is neat. Oh, and you can get branded ice cream scoops. I guess these are appropriate because ice cream is cold. They make the waffle cones back there. Or waffle bowls. Nope, oh, they're just cones. So I got an olive oil ice cream, is it Arbequina? Not sure how do you pronounce it, Arbequina olive oil. So it looks like vanilla. Mmm. It definitely tastes like olive oil. It sounds weird, but it's really, really good. Got a very savory flavor. Like a savory with a hint of sweet, but it tastes like olive oil. And I also got the guava donut and cheese. So I gotta dig down for that one. But it's down at the bottom. So it's kind of a yellowish ice cream. It's got chunks of donut in it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I'm taste a chewy donut. Mmm. I'm gonna taste kind of a cheesy taste, almost like a cheese Danish. And then like a fruity taste, that's the guava in there. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm, got a lot of cheese in that taste. Both of these flavors, Five out of five seals of approval. The savory and sweet mix, very good mix. I like it. Not a lot of people like that, but I do. I got saffron and honey with- Crystallized flowers. Crystallized flowers. And then a chocolate mix. Let's go ahead and try the sapphire. Hey, there's a, there's a bird down there. Mm. What's he trying? <laughs> Is it good? Mmm, really good. It tastes like, I can really taste the, the flowers and like the orange. Is the flower good? Mm-hmm. Mm. Really good. So let me try the mint, mint chocolate. What's your uh, mint chocolate chip fiend? You love it. Let me try them together now. <laughs> mm. And as you can see, it's like in the 90s, I think, so you can see it's almost yeah. melting. It's yeah. melting, yeah. Mm. That was amazing. What do you like about the saffron and honey one? I, it tastes like oranges. Okay. I'm gonna try it again. Huh. Oranges and strawberry. Okay. So what do you give it all together? Five out of five, definitely. Really good. I've Both of them? Both of them. I'm kind of regretting not getting them. What do you think about the mint chocolate chip? You didn't really say much about that. It's really good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Again, it's exactly what it's mint chocolate chip. It's not like the chunky chip, chips in it, which is what I like, but it's still good. So you still give the mint chocolate a five out of five? Yes. Actually, yeah. If you see there, you can see the chunks in it. Huh. Actually, yeah, it does have really chunks. Good. Yeah. Yeah. 
We hope you enjoyed this episode. What is your favorite salt and straw flavor? Let us know in the comments. If you like this episode, give us a thumbs up. Share this with your friends who scream for ice cream, subscribe so that you don't miss any future adventures, culinary or otherwise, and strike the bell to be notified when we upload. If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is down below. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.